Guys, it's 2.52 and 36 degrees, sunny. It's an absolutely beautiful day. I thought it'd be really cold, so I put on my winter coat, my new coat. It is not cold, so I would have worn just my vest otherwise, but whatever. And we are off to go to the laundromat. Got to finish up some Christmas shopping, so we're going down to Saginaw for that. Hoping to stop the Asian market. And uh, yeah, this guy on the corner has six little tiny dogs. He's got a nice little fenced in area. He's back there all by himself. That's the way he likes it. Um, he's the one that told Pete that up toward the front here in the spring it gets pretty rowdy. A lot of partiers come in and they park toward the front here. So he's parked in the back. By then our stabilizer should be fixed, right dear? Yes. And then we should be able to move to the back too if we want to. Anyway, um, there's the pool dead ahead in those windows. There's a pool, sauna, and a hot tub in there. I'm going to get a new bathing suit before I go in the pool again though. Alrighty, so that's what's going on here today. Um, I worked a few hours today. It was fun. Um, finally got the kid, the children's pastor at the church. He sent an email a week last week. I don't know if it was a week ago, probably five days. Hadn't answered him yet, but I did today. Um, let's see caught up on comments. I love those comments. Um, I like interacting with you guys, not just being, you know, one-way street. So you get on our laundromat. Um, laundromat, let's get it over with. Whatever laundromat you want to go to. I don't know if you want to try this new one on Waldo or go back to Auburn. Or, we don't know. So, pretty sky. So I will see you guys later. Bye. So, we're at yet another, uh, I'm trying not to show people, another uh, laundromat. Fairly small, but very, very clean. And they have the tables and the chairs scattered around so they're not all in one clump. So you can sit by your laundry. And this one is only like a mile or less from the campground. So, this is probably where we'll go. Casey said this was a better one anyway. There's my coat. But we have these two and two doubles behind them. So, Pete's babysitting the doubles. And as a bonus, they also will fill water bottles for a quarter. So, Pete had our empty water bottles in the car so we could stop somewhere and fill them for 39 cents. They're a quarter here to fill clean water. So, anyway. That's uh, that's our uh, afternoon, part of it, the first part of it. Then we're going to Saginaw to finish our Christmas shopping. So, see you guys later. We have a nice uh, sunset tonight, too. We just got back from, or just left the... Laundromat, it's about a, was well, about a half block behind us where we were. But that bright gold of the sunset is gorgeous. Lavender and blue and salmon color and peach and whatever. That's a lot. Anyway, we're on our way to Saginaw. Pete thankfully decided not to take the expressway. We get so sick of the expressway because we travel a lot. We put like 20 let's see well we put over 55,000 miles on this thing in the first year and a half we had it so you do the math but uh, we travel a lot and um, expressway gets very old after a while but yeah beautiful sky oh I don't know, love, did we lose some laundry because we went in with four baskets full and came out with three? No, I think we did good. <laughs> I was hoping it would come up with like an extra, I don't know, white snow color, colored towel, or not towel, but blanket. With that, yeah, with Christmas things on it. Oh.
Casey gave me a, a blanket for Christmas a couple years ago. It was white and it had like presents and candy canes and stuff on it. And it was so soft and it was just the right size. It wasn't too small. And I loved it and I used it constantly. When I slept, I had the soft blanket next to my face. And one day it just disappeared. That morning I folded it up, put it at the bottom of the bed, and that's the last we've seen it. It's gone. We have torn apart everything, both at the house and in the RV. We have torn apart everything, and we there's just it's just gone. We can't find it anywhere. We thought maybe the kids took it home by accident. Nope, Casey hasn't seen it there either. It's just just gone. So. Yeah, all this last stuff that we've passed is all industrial. Is this all Dow? This is all Dow property. So it's been about two miles. And I'm they own so much property. I could not even tell you how many acres. I mean, it's got to be thousands and thousands. But anyway, they do a whole lot for the city. And that's because of them. But Midland is such a great city with great schools and stuff. So. And the other side is just park land, park land and stuff. No, it's all Dow's too. I know, but I mean, it's oh, just yeah. not, there's nothing to just look at. Area, yeah. yeah, it's wooded area. It's that. Well, they got some power stuff going on. We get a lot there. of deer over this area. Oh, yeah, we've seen lots of deer over here. So, Saginaw Road, next signal. Anyway, so all that gold in the sky is just, oh. If that is so breathtaking, I can't even begin to imagine with the streets of gold, what heaven's going to look like when I get there. I just can't even, just can't even wait to get there. Oh, that's kind of bright. But we're going to turn away from the sunset now, so I will, uh... The brightness of gold will just not be anything compared to the glory of God. Oh, oh, that's the truth. Yeah, nothing will be those gold streets I can't wait I just cannot wait the glory of God if anybody if any person on earth ever saw God they would not survive the experience that's how enormous it is I can't think of a big enough word awesome is a huge word but people now use it like it's uh, you know a nickel word but anyway that's neither here nor there I just can't wait we're homesick for a place we've never been right Petey so, okay, there's the sunset going, and uh, I will see you guys later. Bye. Anyway, we're over there going to Magoo's. Cut out what? Uh, they have lots of good stuff there. And it's way less expensive than other pet stores, so. Okay, last stop on our Christmas shopping tour for tonight. We, uh, we are gonna, then we'll go back, as you saw, we ate at G's. Well, you probably didn't see, because all the pictures go at the end. Well, you know, we have G's in Houghton Lake. We eat at all the time. They have them all over. This one's a massive, huge one, and it was wonderful. But I'll tell you about that later right now. I got to get my lights on. Seven pushes. There. What do you think? Cool, huh? I'll see you later. Church. Hi guys, I'm just feeding the birds, just finishing up. Maisie's waiting. She says I always give you always give me stuff. And I do. Anyway, Clinger comes out every night. I gotta wash this mirror. Golly. Clinger comes out every night. And um Phoebe always has the opportunity to. But anyway, so I put his food in, he goes back in to eat. Right, Klinger? Whoops. Yeah, you don't want. 
He don't want me there. What if we do this? No, he says. Backing away. Anyway, sometimes, in fact, pretty often, I guess, I'll walk away and I forget to shut Clinger's door. <laughs> Don't know why, I just do. Clinger, did I forget to shut your door? So, Peter walk by and say, Clinger, is it getting drafty in there? Better shut your door. Yeah, we don't want getting drafty. Anyway, that's just silly. Pardon my hair, I've had a head on all day. I meant to end this a while back and I forgot, so I'm just on my way to the bedroom to stop to say goodnight. It's Monday, and I hope you had a good day, and um, I don't know what time it is. Hmm. Ten, 10 after 10 or 10 to 2. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I crack myself up sometimes. I will see you tomorrow. Have a terrific Tuesday. Take care. God bless and good night.